uh, uh, hello all. so basically we will uh, do a back testing of a calendar spread uh, using next option simulator now this is provided free of cost to all the trade genie clients so if you think about any kind of a strategy option strategies you can back test it uh, using the historical data and see how the uh, efficiency of that particular strategy so yesterday uh, the market uh, opened down and basically if you had gone and seen the max pain okay so in uh, next option you can see the max pain by clicking on open interest and this so, so today the max pain is somewhere around 24800 uh, but yesterday for the uh, during the expiry like uh, beginning of the day the max pain was around 24600 now using the max pain here let's say i want to deploy a calendar spread how can i do it so i go to simulator here click on the simulator tab here now here uh, you can ch choose the uh, contract here 22nd may 29th may 5th june so we will take 22nd may contract here and then uh, 22nd may contract i would be taking it over here and then i can choose the time let's say i want to deploy it at 9 40 okay around 9 40 i want to deploy it so at 9 40 i can click a sell here and i can click a when i say click sell here the basically i am selling 24 600 call option here with one click and i am also selling 24 600 put so here if you come down you can see what trades are you are initiating so 24600 call you're selling 24600 put you're selling so 64 and 93 this is the premium you will collect now remember whenever you sell a call and put if the market moves either direction that means if the market goes to let's say around 26000 then you will have close to 144000 loss assuming market goes down to 23000 then you will have 190000 because you are selling call and put now in order to protect it what we do is we go to the next month that not next uh, we go to the next week uh, 29th may that is the long dated and we select the same strike so we will buy 22600 a call and we will buy 26600 put now you can see here sorry i selected the wrong one here so we can delete it here delete it here and just go back to 24600 okay so i buy 24600 call and i buy 24600 put now remember usually calendar spread we square it off at the end of the day i mean that's the best practice usually people do that now if you want to save this you can save it as calendar spread and you uh, the symbol it it can be saved spread 22nd may Okay, so I'm saving it. So you can see around 940 yesterday, uh, I sold 24600 call, 24600 put, and to protect it, I got 24600 call and 24600 put off 29th May. Now to deploy this strategy, uh, in the mark, you can directly like using trade genie Q plus, you can directly execute this trade. Now here we are just uh, testing the uh, testing it how it would have worked. But if you use the strategy here, it can be directly executed in trade genie. Now 
once you have done it you get you can get to see the greeks like what would be the delta effect so either direction the market moves i will have limited loss because my delta is close to zero and uh, then i can see the pnl chart that's the most interesting fact over here and when we run it you can also see the pnl table how the premium would change now i click on auto run and i want to see how the price changed every 5 minutes and i click on play that means what was the premium change with the underlying share price it would be updating it you can see the spot price yesterday when i deployed it was 24 uh, 586 when i deployed this strategy the spot price was 24 586 as the spot price changed how the premium should have changed that you can witness here so you can see here the spot price went to 24 567 then 584 the premiums are changing so we are taking the historical data that is as on 22nd may uh, around 10 15 whatever was the premium we fetch it and we update it so i would have been in a profit of 3348 now i can pause this go back to the pnl chart and see how the profit had gone so when i deployed it then Uh, the profit was around seven hundred and eight. Then the premium started. My profit started to increase due to the theta DK. Now let's come back to PNL table and click the play button. So by you can see the time here ten fifty. My profit went to eleven o'clock. Profit went to eleven thousand two hundred. Let's see what was the profit at eleven fifteen. It was four thousand two hundred. Then, when the market moves very sharply in either direction, that time the short dated options will get highly impacted when compared to long dated options due to the and also due to Vega. So either due to the Vega spike or the market catching up the direction. let me just pause it here so here you can see around 1210 the market started becoming very volatile around 1210 you can see yesterday the market suddenly became volatile and it also dropped so this would have impacted my pnl like from 3000 profit like see here i had a profit close to 4300 from there the profit started to drop to uh, uh close to something like around 700 then again it spiked so if i click the play button you can see how the profits are uh, my profits are getting impacted from the strategy so it came down to 212 so at this time that is around 1235 if i was not confident if i fear that the vega is the wix is going to increase or the market may go sharply down my portfolio getting hit my strategy getting hit i may i can square it off but let's say i did not square it off let's see how the day progressed so it was 2246 then it came down to 1316 because the markets had gone down sharply to something like around 24 480 levels so that time my profit had come down to 1400 so you can see here when the nifty had gone down here the profits had actually gone down then this is where the theta dk acceleration starts so i'm back to 2800 profit markets became very volatile the wick should have probably gone up there slightly so my gain came down to 1766 
the, you can also see the premium here. You can go back to PNL table and see the premium. See here, morning we had sold it at 64 and the last traded price was 3.75. Then uh, we had sold this uh, 24600 put option at 120 uh, at uh, nine, uh, at uh, uh, 93 it shot up to 120 and here we had bought this call option at 240 it went to 184 and 216 put which we had bought as a protection that rose to 237 so due to all this factor my total gain at this point of time was 82 82.50 82.50 Okay, so remember, like I told you in a calendar spread, when the markets go down or sharply go up, the delta will react in a different way. As a result, you may incur a gain or a loss. But remember, your max loss and max profits are clearly defined in this strategy. Now, what happened after that? We are all curious for that. So here you can see the markets, uh, the strategy basically was resulting a loss of 963. And then as the market started to recover and cool down, the theta decay accelerated, particularly the put option theta, put option premium started to ac uh, accelerate. Theta got uh, reduced. So here you can see the day ended with a profit of 7837. So you can build any kind of a strategy using simulator and see how they perform. You can see the Greeks, how they behave during the market hours. You can see the PNL table and payoff chart. Okay. And also one more interesting thing. Let's say uh, I buy Ambuja cement. Okay, now let's say I buy Ambuja cement. Uh, let's take a random time. 12 o'clock, 20 minutes. I go here and I buy, let's say, 585 call. Okay, I buy this. Now, if I want to test it, how the premium would react. I can do that. What I can do, I can just increase the uh, underlying asset price, 587, 590. So the premium here, the, this target price will tell you how much your premium can expect in case if the share price goes up. Let's say there are only three days for exp uh, only four days are there for expiry and then you're expecting the price to touch 610 and then you can see the two rupees premium will go to 28.50. So this is one interesting feature. Give a try. So this application is exclusively available for trade genie clients and also we do post some interesting stuff on markets like what is a calendar spread, what are the risks associated with it. So do follow our uh, social media handles. Thank you.